Seeds of Change, Six Plants That Transformed Mankind, by Henry Hobhouse is a captivating exploration of the profound impact that six plants have had on human history, culture, and society. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, Hobhouse unveils the intricate connections between these plants and the way they have shaped our world. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the key themes, historical significance, and the author's effective use of narrative to convey his message. One of the central themes in the book is the transformative power of plants. Hobhouse argues that certain plants have played a pivotal role in the development of human civilization. He takes us on a journey through time, starting with sugar, the first plant discussed in the book. Sugar's ability to sweeten food and make it more palatable led to a shift in dietary preferences and the development of the sugar trade. Hobhouse highlights how the demand for sugar drove the expansion of empires, the colonization of distant lands, and the cruel system of slavery. The theme of exploitation is prevalent throughout the book as Hobhouse emphasizes how the pursuit of profit often led to the ruthless exploitation of both people and resources. For example, he describes how the cultivation of sugar, tobacco, and cotton in the Americas was fueled by the forced labor of enslaved Africans. The author does not shy away from depicting the harsh realities of slavery and the suffering it inflicted on millions. Another theme that emerges is the interconnectedness of the world through plant exchanges. Hobhouse reveals how plants like the potato, which originated in South America, found their way to Europe and became a staple food, helping to mitigate famine and population growth. Similarly, the global spread of tea and rubber transformed economies and societies in distant corners of the world. This theme underscores the idea that plants have been agents of globalization long before the modern era. Hobhouse's narrative style is a highlight of the book. He seamlessly weaves together historical anecdotes, scientific insights, and personal observations, making the information accessible and engaging for a wide range of readers. His storytelling prowess allows readers to connect emotionally with the people and events he describes. For instance, the vivid account of the Irish potato famine evokes a deep sense of empathy for the suffering of the Irish population. The author's use of primary sources adds depth and authenticity to his narrative. He draws from historical records, diaries, and letters to provide first-hand accounts of the impact of these plants on individuals and societies. By incorporating these voices from the past, Hobhouse brings history to life and allows readers to hear the perspectives of those who live through these transformative periods. Moreover, Hobhouse excels in contextualizing the historical significance of these plants. He not only explores their immediate effects on societies but also delves into their long-term consequences. For instance, the introduction of tobacco and the tobacco industry's expansion had far-reaching effects on culture and public health. Hobhouse's analysis extends beyond the surface, encouraging readers to reflect on the enduring legacies of these plants. In conclusion, Seeds of Change Six Plants That Transformed Mankind, by Henry Hobhouse is a compelling exploration of the profound impact of certain plants on human history and culture. Through themes of transformation, exploitation, interconnectedness, and narrative storytelling, Hobhouse sheds light on the complex web of interactions between humans and plants. His use of primary sources and contextual analysis enriches our understanding of the lasting consequences of these botanical encounters. This book is not just a recounting of historical facts but a vivid and thought-provoking journey through the intertwined histories of plants and humanity.